Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be looking at how to make money in the Elder Scrolls Online. So what I'm going to be showing you guys is a chest route in Western Skyrim. And basically what we're going to be doing is just farming these to make money. So the reason these are going to be making us money is because of these sets that drop here. So there are three different sets. So there are Eternal Vigor, Venomous and Winter's Respite. So they're all pretty popular PvP sets and mainly Eternal Vigor. On Xbox you can sell Eternal Vigor jewelry for like 70k a piece if it's purple and like 20 to 40k for the other two sets in purple jewelry. I uh, can also sell all the body pieces of Eternal Vigor for like 40k in reasonable trades. So it's a pretty good money maker method so I'm just going to show you guys a nice little route for that okay. But before we get into the route I'm just going to go over some things to make this a lot easier for you farming okay. So an optional thing but I think is really helpful is to have a merchant so whenever you go through opening all these chests you need to take everything from the chest so the chest can respawn somewhere else and so it doesn't just sit in there with one item in it permanently. So the fact you have to take every item, you just press X on it generally, take everything so it empties. You're going to have a really full inventory quite a lot of the time. So a really good thing to do is to have a merchant so you can just sell your crap to it. You get a lot of like basic white glyphs and you know like rubidite like legs or whatever. You just want to sell all that stuff to your merchant. You make a little bit of gold from that as well. Another really good item to have is the Ring of the Wild Hunt. So I don't like to scry or anything so I don't actually have this because I just cannot be bothered. So I don't have this, but it will increase your movement speed by 15% if you're in combat and 45% if you're not in combat. So it's actually just really good for getting between all the chests, okay? Uh, Skills-wise, you want to have charging maneuvers. So this just makes you run faster and also makes your mind a little bit faster, which is quite nice, again, for just getting between the chests. And then the locksmith skill, I think, is pretty much necessary. You don't have to have it all the way maxed, but you have a 70% chance to force pick a lock, which speeds everything up so much and just generally does make the farming experience way better. If you're sitting there manually picking locks, it's going to go so much slower than if you just press X on it once and it opens. And then the last thing we want to talk about here is just in the green CP here, we can see there is one that's called Treasure Hunter. So you just want to make sure you have 75 points in this tree to unlock Treasure Hunter. And then that way, the things in your chest have a chance of being a higher quality. Now, this is really, really good just for jewelry. So say you were going to get a blue Eternal Vigor ring, okay, it's like a 5k ring. If you happen to get a purple one because of this passive, you're going to have made, you know, like 65k there. Um, just from having this passive slot, so it's really worthwhile and you shouldn't forget about that when you're doing chest worms. So guys, when we come to rest in Skyrim, we want to come to the very bottom left hand side here, okay? So you want to come to the southern watch where I shrine and we're just going to go from there and I'm just going to show you the route, okay? So I'm just going to show you the route and then I'm going to shut up and just sort of, while well, I'm showing you, because there's not really too much to talk about, you sort of need to follow where my character goes and you'll see all the chest spots. I'm going to light attack basically if there's chest spawn and it isn't there at the time. So if you see me light attack on the ground a couple of times, that's why I'm not just being an idiot. <laughs> so anyway, guys, hopefully you do enjoy the video. Hopefully you find this route helpful and you make a lot of money this way. If you do, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, okay?